I want to get y'all take on something because this shit really ain't the personal side of this ain't our business. You know what I'm saying? But I did want to uh Zero to cricket. I want to play this for the entertainment side of it, bro. All right. Uh Whack 100, Big U, but I'm not interested in speaking on their act. We'll speak on it on, on whatever because I think it's an overall message in it that can be displayed. But really, this Whack 100 and Big U situation, the funny part of this, I think no matter how serious this is, you have to laugh at the Whack 100 response video, bro. So what happened was Whack did an inter. I mean, yeah, Whack did an interview on uh, the the uh, Dub C and C J Mack uh, podcast, and Big U responded. He was upset about it. You know what I'm saying? How, that's their friendship. That's their business. But he put out his statement, and I'm gonna play that. Then Whack put. I mean, when Whack responded, the end is just. Fucking hilarious, bro. <laughs> Just being honest, dog. So let me play this shit real All quick. Right, Hold on, see. let me get it. Here we go. And we gotta just tap in on this, bro. It's just it was one of the biggest things, bro. So you gotta talk on the big shit that goes yeah. on in this game, man. It's just what it is, bro. Doing media, you gotta speak on it. I don't really address a lot of bullshit to say on the internet, but I'm gonna tell y'all this, I'm gonna address this, and I'm gonna address this fast and quick. I heard about the little CJ Mack and Dub C interview with that guy. I don't accept no apology from no nigga to disrespect my name, disrespect my family, and call me on my name, my nigga. I ain't cool with nothing. I ain't cool with that CJ Mack shit. I ain't cool with that Dub C shit. I ain't cool with none of that, my nigga. And that's all I got to say on that. Ain't no nigga, I'm not fucking with no nigga disrespect me, my nigga. Come see me in my face. And that's all I'm saying to that right there. I ain't going nothing else, period. I'm going to post this. I'm going to leave it up. Y'all get it off Instagram, YouTube, however the fuck you, you want to. But I ain't cool with no nigga disrespecting my name. But I'm going to keep servicing these kids, though, like I'm supposed to. Now, cap on that. Now, cap on that. Wake up to all this weird shit. Let's get one thing straight. I apologize to one man and one man only. And that was at the end of the podcast whoever told you I apologize to you it got you looking real crazy cause I know you ain't seen it cause I know you got a better brain than that you should go tell them niggas stop calling you with the false shit this shit clout chasing at his best my nigga this shit way out I said what I said and I meant what I said but I issued no apology. I would never apologize to an individual that snaked me first. Mm. E1 Bill. Yeah. Motherfucker know what I'm talking about. Till then, incredible diapers. Coming to a store near you. Yo, okay. yo, yo. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro. That nigga be that nigga wag him to fucking diapers up <laughs> like that. Incredible is, diapers. Incredible diapers. Bro, I could not stop laughing because he just that was talking. That nigga making the pins and shit? Good, huh? Good it's like the pins. Like, what you mean? Like, I'm saying like no, baby, nigga, baby he, diapers. Baby diapers, diapers nigga. Baby diapers. Oh. He got diapers, nigga. Incredible diapers, nigga. In the boxes, nigga. Good marketing. Coming to a store near you, nigga. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Bro, now look, their situation is really their situation, bro. This is what happens when you put your life on the internet and you get involved and back and forth on the internet. Mm -hmm. um, and and it's and it's that's the, it's a gift and a curse, right? Because you know it's podcast, it's entertainment, it's personality, it's entertainment. Big U does a podcast, right? So it's fucked up because him and Dub C and C J uh, Mac. You know, they all are friends, and they're probably feeling like, well, big U's in this media personality space. So we'll interview Wack because we have a relationship with both of them. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. But on the other side of it, big U is probably feeling like, hey, bro, nah, nigga, we not fucking with that nigga. So, nigga, nah, nigga, I'm not fucking with that nigga. So y'all shouldn't be fucking with the nigga either. But it's like, where do you draw the fine line? You see what I'm saying? That's the fucked up part that they would have to work out and like i always say bro i respect my elders i think big u is up in age i thought he was like late 40s 50 somebody told me he's almost 60 
Like he in his 50s, like well in his 50s. I don't know for sure. I respect my elders. That's just why I'm at with that. So the street side of that is whatever that is or anything like that. But I'm not going to lie for the entertainment purposes. The way that Wack just pulled out them diapers, nigga. I could not help my goddamn self, bro. But But that nigga, that funny as hell. That nigga entertaining, bro, is like you can't help but click Wack 100 content. And it's like you don't agree with everything he does. You have your opinions that are going to be different than his opinions about shit. You might have an opinion of how he handles shit, but it's like this nigga knows how to control the motherfucking the, the, the needle, bro, when it comes to getting motherfuckers to click in on what he got going on. And it makes me wonder, is he doing this purposely or is this an accident, bro? Because all this shit can't be scripted, bro. <laughs> He just know how to seize the moment, really. Bro, he was too goddamn serious, bro, the way he pulled up. And it's like, now, nigga, you damn near got to go check out them diapers. <laughs> like, bro, you got to. Shit, I don't buy diapers no more. Yeah, you. I'm saying people who got kids, they might. A nigga might walk. If he got them in the right lie. stuff. I ain't going to lie. Look, look. This is just, this just what it is. Yeah. Incredible diapers. I don't knock you, my brother. Yeah. More power to you, but. He ain't gonna be fucking with Huggies and Pampers and all these other motherfuckers. They they got some they got some technology to keep pissing the shit out. You know what I'm saying? He got to come on with some. Okay. They got some shit sold up, man. It's I'm just about, saying. It's all about product placement. Let's I, talk. I Let's get talk. Let's I talk. get it. Yeah. But but listen to what I'm saying. That's just like that's just like he okay, I'm gonna tell you some shit. Fucking the Clippers, you know what I'm saying? You got niggas that fuck with Andis and Walls, you know what I'm saying? Then you got the babyless shit. Everybody's so geeked up on the cordless gold Clippers and shit. But yeah. it's like some con air shit. It's, it's, it's some other shit with the Clippers shit. But you got 100-year-old companies, you know what I'm saying? No matter what be coming out, like you going to have motherfuckers going to fuck with it. But when you got like a company that's been around for a long time that's really trusted, you know what I'm saying, in the household, especially on your baby, yeah. you know what I'm saying, like baby skin is so, you know what I'm saying, you line to put one of them hoes on your kids, rashed yeah. up, chafed up, all that, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying, you got motherfuckers that been around, like I say, I ain't knocking it, it's shit, nigga sell them incredible diapers, hey, yeah. go get yourself, but shit, he got some hell of a competition with them cheerings though, man, I ain't gonna lie, you know so, what I'm I say this. I don't got to be in all your Walmarts if I'm a brand nigga and it's about, like I say, product placement. Right. Wack might be like, hey, bro, if I can put, keep some on the shelves in this corner store, this hood, da 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 Most definitely. I'm Family dollars, be, all that yeah, shit. Yeah, if I can put them there or wherever. Like, hey, wherever it's at, and I could put my price next to this price, and I could beat them a little bit or have more pampers for the price, for, for more pampers for the book. See, that's what I'm saying. See, he going to have to, cause them motherfuckers be, be set. It's a number game. But everybody, everybody, had, that's how you started out. That's it's how it's you a get real to number game number. with that shit. That's how you get up. Like, okay, hey, nigga, I can put this many pampers in my box. So what they paying for 50 of those, or let's say 30, what you paying for 30 pampers over there, I'm going to give you. 38 or 44 and I'm gonna have my shit sit next to you but it's the same price it's like you know what I might motherfucking pass them hoogies up this one time and give you a shot and if they work out on my kid they work out it's all about putting them in a real box he do got real boxes I I, I get all that yeah I'm just saying that, yeah. that he got he got a lot of competition facts facts it, whatever you Nigga, they got me. bro they got they got hella organic companies nigga yeah like right now nigga my, my girl just stopped wearing pampers not too long ago you know what i'm yeah. saying so outside and of i was all buying of, this shit you feel me outside yeah. of yeah, it i'm telling you bro outside of it it's genius and like i said i don't want to see him and big u beef or anything like that i ain't on that type of time but it's like outside of it it's a genius time to use your influence to put that type of shit out because it's Fucking the same. Rick Ross do it all the it's time. the same yeah. thing with podcasting. You have to put your podcast brand next to the the podcast brands that's ten million subscribers, three hundred thousand views every video. You have to put your product in there to make the people fucked with feel like okay, I'll click your product for a little bit.